So the first thing you will see when you get to the portal is you will see getting started and login. These are your main pages that you will navigate in order to get started. So if you click on get started, for example, it will take you to this page where you will have step-by-step -step instructions on what you should do. So you are able to do four main things or three things actually. Admission requirements, you can check here and always read your admission requirement just to understand what are the different requirements that you need to meet in order to be admitted. This is where you can find all of those instructions. And at the bottom of this same page, you will also find the options to create an account. You will not be able to submit an application for admission without creating an account. The reason for this is because if we are supposed to allow you to track the status of your application or allow you to update your application, you need to be able to log in. We need to know who you are. So you have to have an account. So the process starts with creating an account if you don't already have an account. If you do have an account, the process starts with a login. So now that you understand the admission requirement, your next step is to create an account. And to do that, you can click right here with the option create an account. And if I click create an account, it takes me to this create new account page. From the create new account page, I can fill in this form with some of my basic information. So I'm going to fill this form with some basic information. And this is my email. Make sure you take note of this email address that you are using, because this is the email address where the system is going to send you emails about your application. So take note of it. And also take note of your username. You need to remember at least the username or the email address if you need to have your password reset later on. So make sure you take note of those two. And now here you type your password. Also make sure you take note of your password. But if you forget your password, there is an option to always reset your password. Here you type your name and I'm going to type here that. And here you can type your phone number. So make sure when you type your phone number that is following the right format, plus 232-76-61-7550. So plus 232 is the Sierra Leone code, 76 is my phone uh, company code, and then 61755 is my actual phone number. This is a security question. You have to answer this. And this is for us to verify that you are a human being and you are not a bot. You are not a bot just trying to access the website. So once you do this and you click create new account, if everything works successfully, an account will be created for you automatically and you will get access to the undergraduate application form right away. But let's say, for example, you didn't want to use the undergraduate admission form, you wanted to use the graduate admission form you can always find the graduate admission form. You can stop right here and don't submit this and just click on getting started. And now from getting started, you can go back here and say, I want to do the postgraduate or graduate. And if you click on that, that takes you to the postgraduate or graduate admission form. And how would you know that if you look at the heading, you will say graduate and postgraduate application form. If again, this is the wrong one, you want to go to the right one, you can always click again, getting started and say, maybe you want to do distance learning and you can click right here, apply, and it can take you to the distance learning application. So your getting started link up here, it's very important because it is where you can get started with anything. You will also notice another menu on the far right, upper right. If you click on this, this also gives you links to some of the applications as well and to some other links. If you just want to learn about the programs at Jala, you can actually click at academic programs right here. And this will list all of the different programs that are offered at Jala. And you can know them here before you even get to the application form. If you just want to see the different uh, uh, academic
academic schools at Jala, you, uh, departments, for example, you can click on academic department and you will see a list. Right now, the list is empty. If you want to see the schools, you can click schools and you will see a list of all the different schools. So let's go back to my application. Let's say I have submitted my application and I want to go back and check if my submission was successful. I can go back and click on my applications right here. And if I had submitted anything, it will show up here. But because I have not submitted anything, this is blank, but it's giving me access to go in and apply for the application again. 